Oh my god, I look like a freaking raccoon or something. And I was like, yo. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? I'm Christy Bay, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a very long awaited or requested, I don't really know, both of those things. I'm going to be doing a very requested video. It's going to be a makeup collection 2019. The last time I did one of these videos was probably like in the summertime, and now it's like the beginning of the year, and it's just like a good and fresh sister start. <laughs> that was so cool. I hate myself. I need to like leave, okay? I'm like, no one likes you because you know, blah, blah, blah doing the very basic youtube guru intro or like disclaimer i'm not trying to brag everything i have i either bought with my own money which pretty much like most of the stuff i bought with my own money some of it is gifts and some of it i got from like companies and i i greatly appreciate it i hit my hand on my desk but my parents don't buy any of my makeup or anything and all my storage i bought with my own money by the way it sounds like my parents never buy me anything but i promise like they buy me a bunch of food and stuff like that so i'm perfectly fine i don't need like materialistic stuff because in my last video I said like they didn't get me anything for Christmas and it sounded really mean Hello I'm filming a video hold on, hold on. like two minutes, two minutes I know this is kind of a lot for my age and like not most people don't have this makeup Makeup is really fun and it makes me happy and I love collecting it and this is a collection So I have like collected the stuff for over like a year now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy Let's just get started with the video so this is my desk. Sorry if the quality got worse. I actually switched to my phone because I like how it looks um, with like makeup, makeup collection videos. So that's why. This is my desk. It's pretty much the same as my last makeup collection, but it's just old and it's pretty big. But it's fine. Like you got you gotta work with what you got. Hair is just this like chair from my garage. I'm pretty sure you can get it like anywhere. I'm pretty sure. Under that, I just have a bunch of random stuff. I just have like my notebooks and a coloring book. I'm pretty sure this is from like Walmart. But then I just have a bunch of random chargers. I have my trash can. I don't know. This is just my trash can. She's a little cute. And like you could just you could just see like every detail on there. So, you know, that's cool. And then next to my desk, I have my actual makeup. So I just have my drawers, which I'll get into later. My lighting, I basically just use these lights from Amazon. They look like this. They're super, super nice. They're just like little little bulbs. And they actually came kind of yellow. So I switched them with these ones from Costco and they're like like actual like LED lights. I don't think they sell it anymore, but it's just a basic like lighting set because I kind of need some light so I can do my makeup and film videos. And it also has a little like switch so you can just flip it. Um, that reminds me of the TikTok thing where it's like, I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. Okay, I need to stop. Okay, yeah. This is what it looks like off and then yeah, I think it's really nice and it's also like metal. So it looks very bougie and everything. On top of my desk, I have this little mirror thingy. A company on Amazon sent me this really nice mirror. And it's really, really nice. It's like a little clipping mirror. And you just clip it on. And you can take it off and everything. And you could also bolt it onto your wall so it could like hang down. And it's really, really nice. You could also like move the mirror if you want a better um, view. And this one's like close up. And this one's like a normal. It's LED, which means it's like, again, pure white. And it's not like yellow like the other ones that I had before. There's also a on and off button. So you could obviously turn it on. And then you can adjust the settings if you want it brighter or off. And I think it's really, really nice. There's also a USB cord. Plug it in batteries or anything. You could just plug it in. When I opened it, I didn't even have to charge it. I just turned it on and it worked. So it just reminds me of like one of those fancy mirrors. Except it's like half the price. So link it down below if you guys are interested. Next to that, I have my sponges. And this is in a little Walmart tray. I'm in like a set of four for like 99 cents. I have a bunch of sponges in here. So I have... My Real Techniques ones. Obviously, you could tell which one's used and which one's not. I have some, like, I think these are called cake sponges. I don't know. Juno & Co. sponge, this one and this one. And then I have this Walmart sponge that I got a long time ago. So, moving on, I have my jewelry. I just have some push pins and they have necklaces. Some of them are from Lopsona. And this one's from Brandy Melville. I have fairy lights and these are strung, not flung. They're strung all over my room, so I have some all over that's pretty much everything for my wall so now i'm moving on to my drawers these are what actually store my makeup so sorry that took forever like this took forever to do just to get here um i got these drawers they're basically these five drawer like things and they're supposed to look like the ikea ones i got them from michael's and i ordered these online and they came in, in about a week which i really really like um and they were 54 dollars. i'll link them down below they're not sponsored but 
they have little wheels like wheels on the bus and you can stop them and everything it's really nice and you can slide them and all that kind of stuff on the top of that i just have all my palettes so i have the jacqueline hill palette by morphe really really pretty i think this is one of my favorite palettes just because it's like really pretty and it has a bunch of like fall colors and smoky colors and bright colors we have another morphe palette and this one is the morphe 35b palette and this one is discontinued i don't know why because it's one of my favorite palettes i got this last year and it's so pretty it has a bunch of colorful shades and it's so pretty my favorites are like the yellows and the pinks and the blues and stuff it's so pretty for like colorful eyeshadow looks now they don't sell it anymore which i don't freaking get because i love it so much but yeah it's really really nice i have the summer nights palette and this is by gino and co 12 shades and it's really really pretty and also comes with a full-size mirror which i love i have this highlight and contour palette by profusion and this is i got this like at target not too long ago and it's super powdery hollywood iconic beauty palette and i also got this from gino and co and this is so pretty. It looks like the Huda Beauty palette. And if you guys want it, you can use my code Christy for 10% off so it's even cheaper. And I think it's so pretty and I love the shades and it also comes with a nice mirror. Then we have the Too Faced. Oh my gosh, they're literally like hanging like if they fall, they'll fall through my desk. So um Hopefully they stay like this. But I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I got this for my birthday from Waverly. I love you if you're watching this. And it's just really, really pretty. I love the packaging. And it smells so good. Like, I literally love the smell more than I love the formula, honestly. Palette by Prism Makeup. And this is also from Juno & Co. And this is gorgeous. The Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it looks like this. I remember I was obsessed with this, like, at one point. But now, like, no one talks about it. But then I have, like, one of my favorite palettes. Um, this Peach Dream Palette by Prism Makeup again and they're really really nice and this one reminds me of the peachy mats palette by Too faced and i have my sigma warm neutrals volume 2 eyeshadow palette and this is also gorgeous as heck um it's so pretty this has i think this has 12 shades and it's really really pretty i love the shades moving on i have my wet and wild palette this is this is really pretty and it's the rosé in the air palette i think this is also a dupe for the modern renaissance palette um it's pretty good for the price and i really like it and i have my stila like lip an eye palette i mean but it's not the best but i have it because i'm not trying to like waste anything so i just have her we have our Too faced cat eyes palette this honestly isn't that good i think this is one of my least favorite palettes but i have it because it's pretty expensive those are all my palettes i've been collecting that for about a year now which is crazy all that i have my bath and body works hot cocoa and cream candle and this smells so good i got this on bath and body works on black friday and next to that i have my candles so i mean <laughs> my perfumes I have my Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Frosted. I got this for Christmas from Bea. And then I have my Victoria's Secret Pink Warm and Cozy Perfume that I got. That's really, really nice and smells really good. In this first drawer, I have all my primers and my skincare. So this just has a bunch of like my Mario Badescu's, facial sprays, and all that kind of stuff. So I have all my skincare and primers in here. So in this little Walmart tray, I have all my primers. I have this e.l.f. blemish control primer and this is really really good it's like six dollars and it's really nice then i have this smashbox like mini primerizer like primer plus moisturizer i got this for christmas and it's really really nice and i got this from faith thank you and then she also got me the smashbox original photo finish primer i have, I have the baby skin primer and this is by maybelline this is so so good it's really affordable and really nice I also have this Benefit like mini like the professional primer and this is really really tiny and I also got this on Black Friday. I have this Milani Prime Shield Primer and this is from the drugstore. It's really really affordable and reminds me of the Smashbox one and it's so good. On top of that we have more primers that I don't really use. I have Full Brow Cosmetics Brighten Up Eye Cream and this is kind of like a highlighter but I just have it because thick it's like better for like before you put on your makeup and stuff. I have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray and this is also really really good for setting your face if you're on a budget like me because I'm really cheap. This Malvita Cream Face Cream and this is like from a hotel so I'm not sure what it's supposed to do but it smells really good. It smells like Lucky Charms that's why I took it. And then... I have the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment, and this is also pretty good, and it's from the drugstore as well. But I really, really like this for, like, my pimples and if they're really big and I want them to dry out and all that kind of stuff. I have the AOA Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer, and this is also really good. This is $1. I have this Shishido or Shishido Bioperformance, like, cream thing, and this is my grandma's, but she gave it to me, so I just have that. I also have this Milani Primelight Primer, and this is, like, illuminating, like, 
liquid highlighter, I guess, and I really like it for like, if I want my highlighter to be like extra glowy, then I use this. And then next to that, I have my Clay Makeup Remover Wipes. I got these for a pack of two, and they're like basically the dupes for the Neutrogena ones, but I'm not like gonna spend like three more dollars on them, so I just got the Clay ones from Walmart. And then next to that, I have all my facial sprays, but I have three of them. I have the purple one, it's almost out. Facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I have the green one, aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And then I have the red one. And I have this one, and I actually have two of them. One is for a giveaway, and one is mine. This one's obviously mine, but it's the Mario Badescu aloe herbs and rose water. And next to that, I have this rose water like bath and body works like spray but then i have this rose water like hang lotion then i have this pure heels charcoal like pore peel off mask and i got this in my ipsy bag over here i have my up and up dual effects moisturizer and it's one of my favorite moisturizers i use this every single day and it's so good then next to that i have my two warren Redescu masks and this one is a super collagen mask and then i have the the flower and tonic mask and it came in a pack of three at ulta but i gave one to my mom then i have my bior charcoal micellar water and i got this in my pinch me box and it just has it's just micellar water and it's like a mini size and i really really like this it's really like refreshing i have a cetaphil like body lotion back there and then over here i have this freeman feeling beautiful hydrating water gel mask and this is really nice i got this for christmas from michelle so thank you and then over here, I have my face masks. So that's such a hard word to say, but I have my Sephora one. This one's just a Sephora mask, and it has three of them. It has a clay mask, a gre green, a pink, and a green. What? A gray and a pink and a green one. And I really want to try out all the other ones. Then I have some sheet masks. So I have the tea tree one. I have a Cubea Professional Repairing Charcoal Mud Mask. I have another sheet mask, and this is a rose one. I have a rice one. I know I have so many, but my mom gave me all these. So I have a rice one. And then I have another Cubea Pore Minimizing T-Zone or Full Facial Mud Mask. And then I also got this for Christmas from Faith. And then she also got me a sliced mask sheet, and this is watermelon. And you guys probably recognize this if you watched my Christmas video. But yeah, I think that is everything in my like facial skin drawer. I have a bunch of stuff in here, but I think it's my favorite drawer. Just look how pretty it is. Moving on to the second drawer, I have all my foundations, concealers, highlighters, blushes, bronzers, etc. So again, I have the same Walmart tray and I have all my concealers in here. So I have my two favorite Revlon color state concealers and these are my favorite concealers ever. They're so freaking good. The Benefit What's Up mini size highlighter and I also got this on Black Friday and it's really, really good. I have the Maybelline Instant and age rewind like concealer for your dark circles on the top i have concealers i don't use as much but they're i still have them because i'm not trying to throw makeup away so i have the aoa studio like concealer and this is like a little too pink for me so that's why i don't use it at all so i also have a aoa studio studio effects co contour stick and then i have this full brow like highlighting like pen thing and it's actually really really nice and it reminds me of the benefit one i also have this hard candy glamouflage concealer and as you can tell, it's really light for me, so that's why I never use it. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which is all used, and I really recommend this. Then I have all my foundations. So I have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and this is in the shade Soft Beige, and I really like this. And also, it's like all used up. I have my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and this is in the shade 222. And this is the matte and poreless one. As you can tell, it's also used up. But I have two of the Maybelline Fit Me because I love them so much, and this one's my current one. It is in the shade 220. I also have the Milani Concealer and Perfect Foundation, and this is the 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. And I'm in the shade 04 Medium Beige. I have this AOA Studio Perfect like BB Cream thingy, and this is also $1, and it's pretty good. I also have the setting powder for it. Next to that, I have my Essence Satin Touch Blush, and this is one of my favorite blushes because it's like a perfect color, and it's I love the formula of it, and it's also it's in the shade Satin Coral. And then under that, I have this Clinique blush, and this is like really bougie, but it's like my only Clinique product I have, and it's a soft pressed powder blush. I'm pretty sure this is also my mom's, but she never used it, so she gave it to me if I could open it. But this is what it looks like. My mom gave this to me, but I really like it. I don't really use it because I'm not like bougie enough to use it, but I probably should use it. I have my Bea Pierre Banana Setting Powder, and this is like okay. It's kind of shiny, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, okay. I 
have my Hoola Mini Benefit Bronzer, and this is honestly like kind of overrated, but I have her. I have my favorite highlighter, and this is my Wet n Wild Mango Glow Hiding Highlighting Powder, and this is my favorite highlighter. I love this to death. It's so good. It's in the shade Precious Petals, and it's so buttery and so creamy. And if you watch my videos, you know I love this. Like it's so freaking good. I'm gonna cry. I love it so much. You should buy it. Then I have my Airspun Loose Face Powder, and this is also this is in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. Next to that, I have my Wet n Wild, sorry my stomach grumbled if you can hear it. I have my Wet n Wild contouring palette, and this is in the shade Dulce de Leche, and I really like this. I hit the, I hit pan on the, I hit pan on the bronzer. Then I have my NYX, I have a NYX duochromatic highlighting powder, and this is like a purple shade, and it's really, really pretty if I want to do like colorful looks, and I want to include like a colorful highlight. Moving on with more highlighters, I have my Becca Champagne Pop highlighter, and this is like all broken. I haven't opened this in forever because my one one one's too good every time i open it i want to cry because it's like so sad like look how sad she is so i just oh my god i think i moved her that's why i never open her so i have her and she's honestly okay like i don't really use her that much why am i referencing to, like why am i assuming her gender i need to stop wait i just did it again okay i need to stop i have some like aoa studio like bronzers and blushes i don't really use these because i don't really like them but i have a bronzer blush and a highlight and this is a wonder studio like a baked highlighter that's pretty much everything for my face products drawer moving on to the third drawer i just have all my eye products shoes my mascaras my eyeliners my brow stuff my glue and everything and then next to that i have all my pomades my like eyeshadow pigments let me show you that so I'm just gonna start off on this side. So again, in this Walmart container, I have all my like tube things. So I have my Duo lash glue, and this is the tube version. I said tube like five times. I also have the Essence Lash and Brow Gel. This is really, really good. I got this, oh my God, really good. And obviously, as you can tell, it's all used. It's like really disgusting. Then I have the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Now I have another Benefit, like their real mascara, and I have the Great Lash Mascara and like an eyeliner from e.l.f. And then I have my favorite e.l.f. brow pencil. This is so good. I have at least like six of these. I love these so much. They're so good. They're like $2 and they're amazing. I have my mascara. I have the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is really good, but it just got really dry. It got really dry really quick, but I really like it. Glitter primer, and this is also really, really good. I really like this for like if I want to do eyeshadow looks and include glitter. Obviously, <laughs> I have my Neutrogena Healthy Volume Mascara. I have the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel, which is all gone. I don't know why I still have that. Like, let me try making it in the trash. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh, <gasps> did you see that? I made it. Oh my god, I'm such a baller. Anyways, okay. I have the uh, Maybelline uh, the Falsies Mascara, which is like literally like a year old. I don't know why I still have her either. I probably should put it. Oh, <gasps> did you see that? Okay, I made it in, but I got some stuff out of it. But I made it. It's right there. I don't know if you can see, but like it's on the trash. I'm such a ball. I should try out for the basketball team, even though I'm not gonna make it. Then I have a Ico like skinny eyeliner, and this is like skinny. It reminds me of Skinny Legend, but it's really nice. And I have her, but she's kind of dried out. I have the Elf mascara, and this is honestly not good at all. I w would not recommend it. And then I have a L'Oreal Voluminous like original mascara. Moving on, I have all my lashes. So I have my Elf like collection thingy mabobber and, and it's really pretty but i cut it wrong as you can tell i cut them the wrong way so now they like the two of the same lash which i've done like 10 million times so i ruined these lashes and i can't use them anymore but i'm really sad about that so yeah the lashes these are from zaffle they're so good um i have more lashes i don't know why i have them sorry about that but these are so good they're so pretty and fluttery i have more lashes these are from like ardell and then back there, I have some sharpeners for, like, my lips and stuff. And then I have another pair of eyelashes, but these are ugly. So, moving on, I have my pomade. So, I have this Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. This is also really bougie for me, so I never use it, but my cousin gave this to me. Then I have my favorite, my favorite, this is the best stuff in the world. I have two e.l.f. lock-on liners, and these are the lock-on liner brow cream from e.l.f. And this is in the shade Espresso, and these are so good. This is, like, the same thing as the Anastasia one, and I love them so much. For my giveaway, I will include some of these, by the way. So that I have my NYX Glitter Prime, or Glitter Shaker Container, and it's in the shade number 10. I have three loose eye pigments from Kiko, and I have blue, yellow, and green. And then on top of that, I have all my chapstick, Rose Salve, C.O. Bigelow, and it's my Rose Salve, and I got this 
at Bath and Body Works for like five dollars. I use like most of it and it's so good. I carry it around with me and I love it to death. Then I have two Burt's Bees chapsticks because I'm not trying to be trusty. So I have the original and the vanilla the vanilla bean one. Chapstick like pink grapefruit one. I'm pretty sure I got this from Walmart. A soft lips vanilla one. I had I used to have like 10 of these, but I lost all of them. Then I have my bubble gum like lip scrub from Lush. I have her and honestly she's okay. And then I also have my Bath and Body Works Island Margarita like hand sanitizer. I have another container. I mix these two together because I don't have that much lip stuff, but I don't have that much eye stuff to make their own drawer. So I just mix them. And I think that works so much better for my storage. So I have all my lipsticks, lip glosses, and like all that kind of stuff. I have my Fenty Beauty like lip gloss and this is really really pretty and it's in the shade fenty glow and this is so pretty this looks good on every single skin tone it smells like pink starburst which is why i love it my smith's rose salve and this is like a tube version of that one and i this is perfect for like school and stuff like that the essence xxl shine one this is so good and it's perfect if you guys want a drugstore mascara or a lip gloss i have a really old like revlon one that's obviously really crusty and dusty i have a Too faced melted metal liquefied metallic lipstick this is not good at all i'm sorry i got this at tj maxx and it's not good like i don't like it three i have three lip liners I have a Milani one, and this is in the shade Spice. I got this at Ulta, and it's so good. I think it's one of my favorite lip liners. I have a Essence one, and this is in the shade 11, and this is in the nude, and it's really pretty. A Sigma lipstick, and this is like really bright pink, but it's really cute. I love the packaging. Two NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and a NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Fortune Cookie. As you can tell, all my favorite stuff are on the top, and all my least favorite stuff are on the bottom. So I have my Wet n Wild liquid catsuit like liquid lipstick and this is in the shade missy and fierce and this is a really nice red lipstick i have a aoa studio lipstick i have i have essence lipstick i have a color design like lancome lipstick which is really bougie my aunt got me this and i'm like not using it because it's so expensive i have four nyx liquid lingerie lipsticks and these are all dark shades so i never use them that's everything for my lips and my eyes and all that kind of stuff and that's just a big drawer so sorry about that this drawer i have all my socks and i know that's really random sorry i don't know i just have my socks in here because i don't have enough makeup to fill all my five drawers so i have like peach ones and like these really cute ones from forever 21 and all my socks i have like giraffe ones and like corgi ones sorry i'm not sure i don't know why i'm showing you guys that in the last drawer i have all my bags so i have like target ones a chipotle one and a bath and body works one i also have the leftover like tools um that i got when i bought this kit thingy when i got this off michael's it comes with extra parts so i just kept it just in case something breaks but yeah i just have a bunch of bags in here and i love like i i'm trying to save the turtles so um i'm trying to like reuse them and stuff like that yeah so that's everything but yeah that was the video hope you guys enjoyed sorry Sorry if it was really, really long. This video is going to be super, super long. So if you're watching to the end, I love you so much. Um, Comment down below. Let's see. Comment down below Peppa Pig. I keep on thinking about Peppa Pig every time I look at these nails. So comment down below Peppa Pig if you're watching to the end. Because this video is really, well, this video is really, really long. I don't know who's watching to the end. So if you're watching, I love you so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below. And follow my social medias while you're at it. Make sure to check out the mirror because I really, really recommend it. And it's super good. I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me. But I love it so much. So don't forget there's a discount code and the link down below. That's pretty much it for the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed like I said. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.